The East African region, and by extension the globe at large, has over the last couple of years experienced a cocktail of unprecedented, multifaceted challenges and setbacks that have, in one way or another, impacted the socio-economic dynamics of the various countries and communities on an individual and regional scale. As we know now, it is, you know, the world is facing a perfect storm. There's so much that is not right. And in these times, you know, the board has to, you know, make sure that the corporate governance structures are more elaborate. They are much more supportive of the economy, which is critical. So the board normally has to make sure that their organization prospers. You know, it makes progress. The second thing that the board has to do is to make sure that they direct the organization towards a shared desired strategy. And the third key requirement of the board is really to, to fulfill and meet stakeholder expectations, client expectations, society expectations, and overall governance expectations. What I think is important uh, with the organization is to have a having strategy in place. Having a strategy, and a good strategy starts with making sure you understand what the challenges are. What are the challenges that are facing the organization? What is really, really important and focusing on those. In that respect, I think uh, I understand also that the board's role is to make sure that the um, the organization is surviving for the long term. The key drivers that have influenced the shift of the tectonic plates of the regional and respective local socioeconomic landscapes include, among others, pandemics and the ensuing lockdowns of varying magnitudes, geopolitics. In addition, there are the soft drivers such as environment, social and governance, ESG issues, technology, digital and cyber aspects and risks, I think in my experience, uh, for instance, in the media industry, we recognize that um, the newspaper is dying. The newspaper is dying out and it's forcing the organization to change. COVID has forced the organization to change. It's now all about digitizing and, and leveraging the digital technology to make sure that you can, you know, the, the business can continue to operate. Within the fintech and banking, I think it's about being relevant. I think with fintechs, we are innovative. Uh, we're looking, always looking for solutions to address the challenges. So while there's a myriad of responsibilities that board, board, board of directors are given and they're told what to do, if you peel it down like you peel down an onion to the core, it's about decision making. And it's about decision making in, you know, what businesses are we, are we in, what business model do we want. The other thing where, where NEDs could play a lot of value, especially in, 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 in these volatile times, and you need business growth, is stretching and inspiring the teams. As a result of the broad disruption occasioned upon the financial markets, supply chains and transportation networks, among others, the impact of the above challenges and developments has been manifested in varying ways. We all work within an ecosystem of suppliers, of regulators, of, of customers, of, of whatever. And anything that happens in the world impacts has an impact on us. If within your industry you're the only uh, company that is not taking up uh, you know, the opportunity to digitize, you're going to be left behind by your competitors. So you must be able to do that. The boards must also manage the risk that comes with it. Even having um, a Zoom call can be a risk, especially if you don't protect the password of the Zoom, you can have somebody hacking in and, and messing up your call. So the board must set the appetite for risk and storms and say this is how, how, how much risk we're willing to tolerate, uh, but you cannot be left behind. It's an opportunity. Risk management to a lot of the executives was a very, very boring subject. It's one thing that you wanted to come into the board give them the risk metrics, tell them the mitigations and move on. And the value of having a non-executive director who is, who is not in the weeds like the executive and has an oversight and takes a, a longer term view is, is immense. Despite the scale and magnitude of the aforementioned, the role of boards and the organizations that they lead in setting and influencing the short and long-term health and performance of the respective economies still ranks prime. Besides, you know, digital, which is what you already talked about, you know, the new things that are opportunities that have come out as a silver lining, I would say the first thing for me is, you know, the whole concept of purpose-driven organization, where you really commit to planet, people, prosperity, and that's how you create profits. And I think these are things that we never understood them 
in the way they, we have now gotten to appreciate them much more. But I think that you know the other thing that the, the whole crisis has done is we are looking at the finer details of the business. Many organizations are now really, really critical about where they spend their money. So the game is much more about return on investment. Efficiency is, is, is really the new game. And then finally, I would say one more thing as an addition here, that through the silver lining, you know, the board has appreciated the power of communication. You know, in the past, you know, we used to keep everything to ourselves as board directors. But now, the more you are transparent, the more you communicate, the more as an organization you appreciate it. We are driving the agenda to say that it's important that you, you have good corporate governance, that uh, your customers, um, your, your stakeholders, your ecosystem trusts you to do business. You know, from my perspective, what are big things that we learned? I think number one is being with much more bolder around sustainability. You know, when you create value for society, you become valuable. This, every board has now gotten to learn as a lesson. The second thing is really the, the game of alliances, that you really can't do it all. And in difficult times, we have learned to work with others. So I would say, use this moment wisely to become much more strong. And some of those learnings have actually become part and parcel of the business. Some of the business planning, of uh, forecasting, short-term forecasting, has become part and parcel of the business. Have we learned? I think we have. Is, there, is, that the, is that the last crisis we're going to have? Probably not. Therefore, the boards that will excel, the people who will excel in the boardrooms, will be those who are going to take those lessons and try and move the needle in adding value into the companies that they support.